Hello and welcome to this uh, new Let's Build series. This is going to be another Let's Build of a split level house. This one is going to be three levels, I think. May or may not add in a basement. And uh, I think a house like the one I'm planning to build did actually make an appearance in the Suburb Craft series about, what, nine months ago? I don't know, that's basically ancient history by internet standards at this point, so uh, <laughs> anything older than a month or two is just like gone by the wayside. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out here, because this house, well, you know, let me just go ahead and kind of uh, line this up a bit so I can figure out where to put the garage and thus where the rest of the house should be relative to the streets. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, and we'll do, uh, then, right, maybe 7 blocks, oh, okay, so this is, this is way too close, alright, how much this is 6, okay, that is 7, 7 blocks out, so, maybe I'll go for 7 blocks from the street, I'm trying to keep it kind of comparable to the other houses in this neighborhood, uh, Let's see, so the garage was going to be about here, which would mean the driveway would be here. That is five blocks, and then six, seven. I think that would be reasonable. I think that would be reasonable. Alright, so now we get into actually kind of sort of building a house. We're going to do, how many is this? Is three, so we need four more. One, two, three, four. Alright, that's seven. And then we're going to need to do another 7 here, and that is 6. Well, actually, no, counting this, that is 7. Alright, so then we'll go ahead and build this up here. I, I tell you, this lot is a lot smaller than I remember it being, but maybe it only seems that way. I don't know. Okay, so this is two blocks, and this goes back another one, I think. Just looking at this picture I have of it of the original, at least. I mean, not the real life one, but the original, original house, or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ten blocks, and this is four, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is ten, right? I think it is. I hope it is. <laughs> Yeah, this is right. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So now, let's grab some quartz slabs. We'll get rid of the sandstone for the time being. Replace that with that. Get some quartz blocks. And... I'll start kind of working on the roof because, as you can see, it actually factors quite a bit into the design of the house. So, and actually, since the sun is kind of getting low here, let me go ahead and turn up the brightness all the way before that becomes an issue. So there's that taken care of. And now let's just go ahead and finish up the roof line for the garage. So that's the way that's going to go. And we'll do the same for the rest of the house here. Put on the quartz. And this house is going to be uh, about 12 blocks long or wide. So I don't know if it's going to fit on this lot or if I'm going to need to make some kind of adjustments or what exactly the deal is going to be, but we'll see, right? Actually, no, it's only going to be 11 blocks, but close enough. Uh, so we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it fits, but it's a bit of a tight squeeze. Okay. Maybe then, uh, once I get to the part of putting in the basement and such, rather than doing all the uh, interior stuff real fancy, I guess I'll just do that before that, so uh, when I do use MC Edit, the interior get, doesn't get all messed up. But actually, that shouldn't be a problem, so long as I'm just moving it uh, kind of along this axis or whatever, because that only seems to happen when uh, you move things and you rotate them around, like so. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason that messes up all the item frames and the doors and all the 
redstone stuff and pretty much everything and that's kind of the major downfall of MC Edit and I think pretty much all of those other editing programs for me but uh, anyways moving right along here we're gonna start uh, on the upper part of it and I'm just trying to think I think it lined up with the garage wall so that's about as long as it's gonna end up being and with that in mind, let's go ahead and uh, just bring this part all the way around here. I know I'm kind of skipping around and kind of being ADD, but that's just the way I tend to do things when I build. It's just like, you know, I have to capitalize on the ideas when they come to me, otherwise I almost invariably end up forgetting them. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I was sitting and staring at the YouTube search page, like, geez, what was I going to look up? You know, what song was that? What video was that? If I had a dollar for every time I've done that, I would probably be a fairly wealthy man. I don't know, I mean, I'm not talking like thousands here or anything, but... Hey, enough to buy at least a week's worth of groceries, right? I don't know. Uh, okay, so I'm just working on the roof of the garage here, just filling that in for the sake of having it done and out of the way. Now, let me go ahead and uh, bring this on over to this pillar here. And this will be the upper level with the bedrooms and uh, I want to say at least one bathroom. There might be a second one, but as I remember this house, there was only one. But as I basically just said, my memory is really not to be trusted, so... <laughs> Even I am taking that uh, with a grain of salt. So this is coming along quite nicely, I have to say. No real major obstacles or, hook or hiccups yet. But we are fairly early into the process, so... I may or may not have just jinxed myself. Alright, uh... Moving on... There we go, okay, that's good, that all fits together nicely. Surprising and pleasant. Pleasantly surprising. Okay, so uh, let's see, I'm, I'm about halfway through this episode here. As I've said probably multiple times before, uh, I am trying to keep these videos either at, around, or preferably under about 15 minutes, because I think that's kind of uh, the sweet spot, if you will, in terms of video length. It's not too long, it's not too short, it's, you know, it doesn't really drag like some, you know, 30, 40 plus minute videos tend to. But at the same time, it's not the sort of thing that it's like, you know, you'll watch it, start getting really into it, and then the episode will be over, and it's like, what? That was only, you know, six, seven minutes. Where's part two? Am I going to have to wait half a week for that? You know? And, uh, yeah, so I think that's just kind of the ideal length, and that's uh, why I'm basically shooting for it. So, a bit of the method behind the madness there, I guess. So, cool, right? <laughs> Behind the scenes stuff is either very cool or very boring, depending on who you are. And, uh, I don't know, I know that firsthand, and it also, I guess, depends on what exactly the behind the stuff, or behind the scenes stuff pertains to, so. Interesting is relative, at the end of the day. I guess is kind of what I'm trying to say here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh... Yeah, so I'm just working on the roof here. It's pretty easy going. And that is just about finished. Alright, so I guess I can go ahead and put in the windows on the front here. And what else? What else? I guess I'll fill in this wall because that wall I know is windowless in the uh, house I'm basing this off of. And usually that wall in these sort of houses is windowless anyways, regardless of uh, what exact kind of house it is and all that. And I don't know why that is, but oh well. I'm going to roll with the various quirks and stuff of these designs. 
pretty much what I do. So, yeah. So let me grab the wool here and some brown wool too. And then we'll just use the brown wool as carpet in this main living area. And I think I will end up putting in a basement. So I guess that's another reason to kind of try and not get too engrossed in the uh, construction because I'm going to have to end up moving this. And if I move it with the basement, that's not going to be much fun. Well, I don't know, it might work out, but knowing me, I'll probably end up like leaving out half of it and then I'll have to redo that or something. <laughs> so, not going to do that until after this is quite well situated, I guess. Which I think would probably be the smart thing to do regardless, but whatever. Alright, I'm just trying to think here. Uh, I guess I can put in these planks. And I'll wall off this part, and this will be kind of the main, or not necessarily main, but lower level. Lower but not basement, I guess. Okay, now let me wall off this part of it too. We'll put in the service door. And maybe a small window here. There we go. And... Alright, put that in. Okay. Now... Well, I guess I'll fill in this part of it too. Now that's caught my attention. Now... Well, this is definitely going to be a bedroom, so I guess this will be a wall. Actually, maybe I'll just use the birch wood planks instead, just to give it kind of one cohesive look in general. So, that'll be great. That's something I've been kind of trying to implement in my houses as of late. I think, arguably, it looks better than, uh, you know, a wall that's like half birch wood and half uh, wool. So, I think I'm going to stick with that for at least a while. I don't know. I kind of go through these fads and phases when it comes to building these houses, so... We'll see. We'll see. So again, I'm just kind of skipping around, I realize that, but... Uh, it's important to emphasize that I'm basically just doing things, you know, as they come to me, and that this really isn't meant to be taken as a tutorial as much as it is uh, basically just a let's build, kind of watch me goof around and build stuff. And don't take it too seriously, because I certainly don't. <laughs> so, let's see, we're going to have the bathroom here, I think. So, I guess this will be 3x3. Three three. I want to have the stairs ending before there. Oh, there you go. That's nice and easy. <laughs> I guess I'll just go ahead and make this whole wall uh, birch wood planks too. Again, just for the sake of uh, cohesiveness. And that'll be where the stairs from the entryway come in. I'll just leave that. And this whole area is going to be the kitchen, so I'm going to tile that appropriately. Probably use uh, quartz tiles or something. Quartz pillar blocks specifically. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the upper level. Uh, this is 4x4, four four, probably, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I'll go with however long that is. I think that's 4x5, which is cool. Put in a closet here, just for the sake of it. And maybe, yeah. We'll make that a walk-in. Why not? So you come up here, bathroom is the first door on the left, and then there's a little landing, this bedroom, bedroom, cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and work on the exterior walls for these. I guess I'll have this be a solid wall and have maybe a three block picture window along here. Then we'll go over to the next one, and basically do the same there. 
All right. All right. So, anyways, uh, it's about 15 minutes. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is fill in the ceiling here and MC edit. Let me just throw up a glowstone block so that no bats or anything spawn in here. They don't really spawn in some, or, uh, my world for some reason, which is good. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. Maybe it's because it's like an older world. I know it dates back about two years, almost exactly. Uh, but more to the point, I'm just gonna use MC edit to fill in the ceiling here. I'm gonna move the house. Uh, Maybe like two blocks closer to the street, and uh, probably use MC Edit to rough out the basement too, and maybe fill in this stuff with carpet. So uh, I do all that, and uh, as usual, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like or comment or subscribe or whatnot. If not, then please feel free to leave some constructive criticism instead. Instead, rather. Any feedback is good feedback as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, so uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next episode.